his shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. Then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast, and placed a powerful spell in the castle, and all who lived there.
sights set on that. She's the lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. I know, but and don't I deserve the best? Of course I do. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she who is beautiful as me. So I'm making plans to open very well. To work. Yes, you will, and you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Well, we better get cracking then. Now let me see. We're gonna keep that dog like a puncher. Papa. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> so, you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Papa, do you think I'm odd? My daughter ought. Now what would make you say a thing like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I'm not sure I've been in around here. There's no one I can really <clears throat> talk to. What about Gaston? He's a handsome fella. He's handsome, all right. And rude. And conceited. And, oh, Papa, he's not for me. Well, don't you worry, Belle. Because this invention is going to be the start of a new life for us.
Is anyone home? Maybe if we keep quiet, he'll go away. I don't mean to intrude, it's just some last move we suspect. No, no, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Ooh la la. See my eyes deceive me? Or is this a man I see? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. All right, this has gone far enough. Coming through. How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. Hey there, little fella. What's your name? Chip. Care for a blanket, Master? We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the Master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. See, Master will never have to It's so. No! Girls, girls, I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that's gonna change your feelings for me. Oh, no, no, never! Good. Well, then, if we're going to have a wedding, I guess I'd better propose to the bride. No! Well, Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. Gaston, you shouldn't have. Don't mention it. Belle, today's the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My little wife massaging my feet. The strapping boys playing on the floor with the dogs. Or have six or seven. Dogs? No, boys. Imagine that. So, Belle, what's it gonna be? I just don't deserve you. Who does? But thanks for asking. <laughs> you know that Belle? Always playing hard to get. She turned you down! For now, but I, I fell for my wife. Make no mistake about that.
couldn't keep quiet. Just had to invite him to stay. I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish! Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? Oh, right. If the master doesn't break the spell, slowly but surely we will all become things. Hold on, Helena. We've got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl! This is the one, the one we have been waiting for. She's come to break the spell. Wait a minute, let's not be hasty. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle! Is that you? Papa! How did you find me here? Your hands are like ice. Who has done this to you? Belle, you must leave this place. I won't leave you here. Who's there? Here. I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I do not take orders from anyone. Get up! Wait, no. Forgive me. Please, can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed you. But he's an old man. He could die. There's nothing you can do. Wait. Take me instead. No, Belle! You don't know what you're doing! You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here. Forever. No! Come into the light. <gasps> Belle, listen to me! I'm old! I've lived my life! You have my word. Don't. No. 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 Take him to the village. Wait, no. no. Not no. yet. No. No. Bell. No. 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 Papa. Oh. I'll never get to see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. Master, if this girl is going to be with us for quite some time, you may. I want to offer her a more comfortable room. Come with me. I'll show you to your room. You follow me! This is your home now. You are free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there. Understand? Yes. This is your room. If you need anything, my servants will attend to you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request. What? 
of his cover with Well, where is she? 
she's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that. Your lordship, your grace, your eminence, let's not be hasty. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come to dinner. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please attempt to be a gentleman. Take deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Um, uh, uh. Please. No, thank you. Fine, then store. Master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all! What were we thinking? We will never be human again. Well, what would you have us do, give up? I like this girl. I like her spot. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. He did say please. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. Well, hello, dearie. I hope the master didn't frighten you too much. He can be a little temperamental. A little? I am Thomaswer, head of the house. This is Lumiere. Enchanté, mademoiselle. If there is anything we can do to make your stay more enjoyable, anything, anything at all. Well, I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth! Well, you heard what the master said. Oh, pish, you're not about to let the poor child go hungry. All right. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Cogsworth! She's not our prisoner, she's our guest. We must make her feel welcome. Fine, dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it will be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. We invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin around your neck, charity, and we'll provide the rest. Soup to show our doors why we only live to serve. Try the great stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can say, they can dance. I promise, this is front. And our dinner here is never second best. Go on and for your menu, take a glance. Then you'll be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Be frank, she's in play, I am pulling up. We'll prepare and serve with bread of culinary cabaret.
Oh dear, look at the time. Off to bed. Oh, we couldn't possibly go to bed now. We've never been in an enchanted castle before. Perhaps you would like a tour. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually I do. Right this way. Hot like a gentleman. Hot like a gentleman. This will be good. Now that is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> May I redirect your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? Oh, the mirror? All so beautiful. I had no idea. Only he weren't here. I am like a gentleman. I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. What's over there? Nothing. There is nothing of any interest in the West Wing. So that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding there. Um, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. Over here we have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back.
Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. But that's more like it. I knew that you could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon. The rose is losing its petals at an alarming rate. And I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly it's time for us to give the head a little push. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up with a nice morning suit? <laughs> You have something in common, you know. What? You 
town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. I know how lonely I can be. They're still in there. Yes. What are you afraid of? 
I'm afraid she might. She might what? I'm afraid she might laugh at me. Master, somehow you must find the courage to take that chance. Look at the roads. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. You can do it, Master. I know you can. Take the mirror with you. That way, you always have a way to look back and remember me. I can never forget you. Oh, go, go. Oh, I'll never 
see her again. Master, may I just say, everything is going just swimmingly. I knew you had, didn't you? I let her go. You what? Why would you do that? I had to. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. Then that's it. The spell is broken. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late.
soldiers marched through the forest, waving torches and weapons. Once gathered outside the beast's castle, they carefully made their way inside. You look 
You look so much better. I like you better this way too, Lydia. Yeah.